Hey friends, you are Crafting with Kim Byers and today we are going to make personalized conversation hearts for Valentine's Day. So um, in last week's video, I created one along with 10, well, it was 10 total crafts for Valentine's Day. And one of the things I did was a personalized conversation heart. So um, I made that and put that on a mug. And so I told you guys that I would share with you how to do this for yourself. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna take you into Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna show you how to create not just you know conversation hearts this is more about how to do a knockout in Cricut design space and in any shape you want to use whether that be text or you know Easter Bunny or whatever it may be um, to put on you know mugs and tote bags and t-shirts and just whatever wreaths for the front door which would be really cool um, so we're gonna hop in and I'm gonna show you how to use the contour tool how to use the slice tool and how to create these so but what I'm gonna do and shh, don't tell my mom but I'm going to make a mug for her with all of her grandkids names on them in conversation hearts she's going to die she is going to love this um, and so let's hop over to Cricut Design Space I'll show you what it's all about and then we'll go over to the craft table cut it out and put it all together um, and I would love for you guys to hit that subscribe button if you've not already and join me for all my future videos I am here every single week okay guys let's go Cricut Design Space, and I just want to quickly show you how to create a conversation heart in Cricut Design Space, but more so a knockout in Cricut Design Space. This little set right here, so you see the love you, kiss me, all that kind of thing. So if you search in images, you're going to get this one. And what I did is I modified it. So if you click on this design, and you go over into the layers panel, you'll see that it's all, you know, a cut. Right, so all four of them at one time. And you're like, well, I just want the heart and then I wanna make my child's name. So what you do is you go into contour. The contour tool is so powerful. We're gonna hide all contours, okay? And we're gonna click off of that and voila, we have a heart. So with this heart, we are going to create our um, conversation heart. So I've already started making these. These are for my mom. These are grandchildren names. And so what we're going to do with this is we're going to find a font um, that somewhat looks like conversation heart font. So you can pick any font you want to, but I wanted to keep with the look of, you know, that traditional um, rounded lettering. So I found this font. This is the font that I use for the Jesus mug. It's Arial Rounded bold and this is just a normal font within Cricut Design Space. So if you grab that font and so say um, for instance let's just do one. So let's do um, my niece's name. So let's do Ashlyn and it's not a tiny short name so I wanted to show you guys how you could do. So if you look over in the two that I've already done um, I have Addie and Tinsley. So Addie is obviously super easy for conversation heart, right? Because um, there is, you know, only four letters. And then you have Tinsley, which is a little more complicated. Um, and if you have really short names, you could expand. I'm going to show you how to put distance between each of these letters. Um, but you could, you know, do that. You could space it out even more. I did keep um, this set a little closer than I did the Jesus. If you see the J and the E, they're a little more spaced apart. And I kept these a little bit closer only because I knew I was gonna have some long names like Tinsley. Um, and I wanted them all to be uniform. So what you do is once you have this font, we're gonna need to decide how we wanna break the name up so that it fits on the conversation heart. So for this one, I mean, it's kind of easy. There's six letters, we're gonna split it in half. Um, and so if you look over at the one I did for Tinsley, um, you would want the longer, like if it's seven, eight letters, you would want the longer elements to be on the top half and then shorter because as the you know heart comes together. So with Ashlyn's name, what we're going to do is I am actually going to delete the very beginning and I'm going to create two separate um, sets. I need it to be in two separate pieces. So I'm just going to duplicate and then we are going to type in the last part of her name. So we're just gonna grab Ashlyn, and then I've already worked out for these others that I want them to be, the letters to be, oh, I did that line, sorry. The letters to be um, two apart. But if you wanted to do more like the Jesus, this is more like three apart. Okay, so there we go with the letter spacing. So now I'm going to grab both of these. I'm gonna go into a line. I am going to um, center them 
horizontally, which means you saw the lens shift over a little bit. So now I know they're perfectly aligned and then I am going to reduce them. So I'm going to bring over the ones I've done already. I want you to be able to see this. If you forget what size you did for the last name, this is just a, a quick hack on how to do that. So first of all, I'm going to grab both of those and then I am just going to group them because I want them to stay together. I don't want to have to fight with them. I'm going to put it over top of Addy just to make sure, yes, that's about the same size. So you see my D and L, although they don't line up like the A does. I think, let's just reduce. Nope, I didn't have that right. There we go. Now those are the same size. So now I have um, Ashlyn, the same size as Tinsley and Addie, and I'm just going to set it on top of my heart. Now you can um, use the shift key or hop over into layers and grab both of those, grab the hearts, and then go into a line and um, center them vertically if you want to. Um, just be careful. Sometimes with a heart shape, it looks a little off, and if it does, you may have to place it slightly by hand. Okay, so I think this looks good. Actually, I think it's a little bit low, so we're just going to move. This is what I was telling you about hearts. It's a little subjective. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is grab your lettering and grab your heart, and I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it because I don't want you to make this mistake. So you've grabbed both of those, and you look over into slice because you want to slice it or knock it out of the heart, and you're like, well, the slice tool is gray, and it doesn't work, so now what do I do? Well, it's because the slice tool is seeing these as two separate lines, which we did on purpose. So what you need to do is you just grab the group and you ungroup them, okay? And they're in the right place now, so you don't have to worry about that, but grab ash, or the first part of your letter, grab the heart, and then slice. Okay, and so you saw it blink. So now what you know is that this has sliced out. So you can look over into the layers panel, and so you see the slice, so you see ash and the heart. We want to grab the actual slice element, and we're just going to delete those. We don't need those anymore. So now you can see through, and you can see um, the spacing behind the name. So you're like, well, where did Lynn go? I see it over in layers, but it disappeared. It actually didn't. It went behind the heart. So if you go up into a range, and you send that to the back, there you go. There's the rest of your name. can get super confusing when you're not used to using Cricut Design Space, so i just like to share that with you guys. So then we're going to click on the heart. And now you can see that you have your slice result and the other part of the name both highlighted over in layers. And so we're going to do that same process again. We're going to go down and hit slice. It's going to flash or blink. Um, and then it's sliced out. So there's slice result. We're going to delete that. And then you can see here, delete that. So now you have a conversation heart, a personalized conversation heart um, with your child's name or whomever you want to make that for, whatever phrase or saying you want to make that for um, that is quickly and easily made in Cricut Design Space. Okay, so now I'm just going to close these guys out because I'm not going to use these this time. I've already done this. So if you take that and you know do the contour and knock it out so it's just a heart like we did before, and then you have these two elements, and then you slide it over the top of it, you can get that 3D effect um, with two colors. So if you just want to have two separate colors, how fun would that be? That would be awesome. And then I think I'm going to use this. <laughs> Wouldn't this be fun? We're going to make this for my mom. I'm just going to put um, the heart back there for her. Oh, I'm, I'm loving this, guys. And we're going to place these by hand because these are going to be layered. So we'll have Tinsley. So we'll pop that on and then just remember, hit that arrange, send it to the back. And so you can even have the kind of shadows going different directions. I think that's really fun too. Oh, and don't forget to grab them and you know size them um, the way that you would like them to be sized. So how about we grab one of these and see they're 2.7, the mug. I probably want these to be more like one, one and a quarter each. So then I am just going to grab them at the corner and take them down. Or you could also go up here and resize them here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and make it. So you see on the mat, it's just going to pop up and it's going to have all my three pinks. And it's going to have my other mat with three pinks. And we're ready to cut. Just a quick reminder, guys, with vinyl, you do not need to mirror image. Okay, so let's select our device. We are going to use the maker. 
We are just gonna be using premium vinyl for both and we're ready to cut. Okay, so here we are on the craft table and these are the things that we're going to use today. So I have my mat. I did cut this out with the Cricut Maker. I have my light pink vinyl, a very bright pink vinyl. I have my transfer tape, my mug. I used a brayer to put my vinyl down onto my mat. So, and I used um, my paper trimmer. If you guys have ever crafted with me, I use the paper trimmer just to cut the vinyl um, because I find that it saves me a ton of material and I don't waste it as much. And then I have my weeding tool and a pair of scissors. So what I did is I cut out my vinyl and I put, this is such a small project, I put one strip at the top and one strip at the bottom. And so I have gone ahead and cut out my hearts and I just flipped my mat and stuck it in the other way. It's just a little hack for those of you who are trying to be, you know, speedy about it. Cut out your materials and then just flip your mat around. Okay, so now that we have both of those cut out, um, because they are actually both cut out, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my weeding tool and weed out both of these designs. By the way, a little thing so if you are um, taking you know vinyl off of a mat like we're about to make sure that you always bend the mat and not the actual vinyl so you can just flip it over and then just pull that away so that it's not creasing your vinyl you could do the same with the bottom color so there we go okay so now we will take our weeding tools and just weed away Okay, so I'm going to weed these out, and once I do, I'm going to take my scissors and cut them all apart. So one thing we want to remember is for this design, we want to weed out the interior of each of the conversation hearts. So um, I went ahead and created a few more. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine grandchildren that are going to go on this mug. So we can grab below the heart and go ahead and do the easy part. Whoops, did I really just do that? Do the easy bar, we're gonna go slower with that. And by the way, when you're weeding, if something that you don't want to pop up pops up, use the blunt end of that tool and hold it down. So let's grab that real quick again. And then I'm just gonna use the blunt side of that tool to hold it down. So it's cut, it's just, you know, for whatever reason, it's just sticking a little more than we want it to. And so we'll just keep going along making sure to hold our hearts in place. So now for each individual child, it's just easier to do them like this and then cut them out. Or, you know, cut the hearts away from each other. We'll just say if I can't get it to stay in there that that'll just be more authentic, right? You know what, that's more authentic. <laughs> so once we get all of these done, I'm gonna trim out between them and then we're just gonna do the same to the hot pink hearts and just, you know, taking out all of the design or, you know, all of the excess. And then we'll trim them out. We'll use transfer tape to put those, that one's coming off really easy, um, onto the mug. Okay, so I got all of the letterings out and I just took my brayer and went back over it just to make sure that any little pieces of the letters, you know, were all down. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scissors and we're just gonna cut out each individual heart. And then once we've done that, we're gonna grab our transfer tape and we're gonna start placing our hearts onto our mug. Okay, so I've trimmed out my hearts, and I didn't trim out these because these I'm going to place by hand, the, the bright pink. So for these, I wanted them separate so that I could use transfer tape and pick up the design. So one thing that we wanna do before we um, put any vinyl onto this mug is we wanna clean the mug with alcohol. We just wanna make sure that everything is off of it, and so we're gonna clean it really quick, and then we are going to let it dry. Okay, so it's dry, and because there are so many grandbabies, I chose to get this really tall mug. Now, this is from Target. I paid $3 for this, but it's an excessively tall mug, and not only can you fit all the grandbabies on it, um, you can have really big cups of coffee, too. <laughs> so that's always a good thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to first take um, our pink ones and put those on, and then we'll overlay these. So the thing is, is because they're nine grandchildren, I think I'm gonna put, you know, three here, and and then you know three roughly here and then three here so nothing has to be perfect with this um, but I'm thinking that I am going to you know this is her holding it so we're just gonna 
place the hearts randomly around different directions and all that kind of thing. There we go. And there's always room for more grandbabies. Yes? Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take our transfer tape and we're just going to peel it away at the edge. And we are going to reuse the same transfer tape multiple times. Okay. And I'm going to use my brayer. Just make sure that we get a good coverage. <laughs> I think I put that right down there we go picked it up nice but i had it on my uh, cutting mat and it just sort of stuck to it okay so now that we have that name what we want to do is we want to pick a heart and then we want to overlay it and we want to kind of off center it but making sure that all of our letters are covered okay so kind of making it look like a shadow How stinking cute is that? Okay, and so now we pull our transfer tape away. Perfect, and now we do that many, many more times. So I know you're gonna ask me, is this washable? And what I'm gonna say is yes, by hand. I would not put this in the dishwasher because this is, I used um, everyday vinyl. Um, it's not permanent vinyl. Now, if you use permanent, you could possibly get away with putting in the dishwasher. But what I have found is with permanent, like these hearts will stay, but with the, um, the tiny little pieces, like the inside of the O, they might want to come off in the dishwasher. So what I would say is hand wash just to be on the safe side, or you could use a mug press and use infusible ink, and then this would be permanent. Okay, so there it is. So all the grandbabies are all the way around. And I think it turned out really, really sweet. I know my mom's gonna love this. Okay, so what did you think? Did you enjoy that? Did you, um, now you have the ability to use the slice tool and use the contour tool and take designs within Cricut Design Space and really just make them whatever you want them to be. Whether that's knocking out text or goodness, you could knock out other designs. You could take a circle and then knock out the Easter Bunny, you know, from the inside of that. I've got Easter on the brain. <laughs> It's the next holiday up. Um, but so anyway, but you could do all kinds of things just by knowing how to use the slice tool in Cricut Design Space and knowing how to use the contour tool in Cricut Design Space. But I hope you enjoyed the Conversation Heart Mugs and I'm really hoping my mom loves it too. Okay guys, if you've not already, hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time.